is Max and welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you the review of the Porsche Design sunglasses. So if you are interested in these luxury pair of sunglasses, just keep on. Okay guys, I had a subscriber, actually I had a couple people that were was interested in the Porsche Design sunglasses and so I did say that I would go ahead and do a review on it. Um, so this video was going to be my thoughts on it and then just a little bit of information about you know the product okay so the box that it comes in actually it comes in this cardboard box right and it has like that information and then it has the label on the front and it's just a black flimsy cardboard box i kept it it's not the box that really holds the glasses it just holds the case which holds the glasses okay so this is the box that it actually came in and it looks like that and it kind of has like this magnetic closure and it has like this, um, it feels like velvety suede almost on the inside of the box and it's black and it's gray and it looks like that and it kind of collapses down, you know. So it's it's really, it, to me it's too big to really carry around in a handbag, um, but it does say Porsche Design Eyewear. And inside of the case you will get um, your glasses of course and then you'll get this little velvet carrier which holds an extra set of your lenses. And then you'll also get a cleaning cloth. And the cleaning cloth does say Porsche Design Eyewear on it. It's really dark and black, so I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see it. So it will have that in there, okay? So let's go over the glasses, and these are the glasses, and this is what it looks like. Um, they're actually marketed as the first interchangeable lens glasses because the lenses do pop out, okay? The size that I have um, is the size 69. I went for the biggest size that they had because I was going for the, what's her name, Kris Jenner look. So I wanted the biggest size frames that I could possibly get. I thought they were, you know, just really chic. Um, plus they hide, you know, a lot when you don't want to wear your makeup or whatever in the morning, especially going to the gym or whatever. Um, so these are these are great for that. The color that I got was the shiny gold. It actually comes in eight different colors and it comes in four different sizes. So there's a size 60, I think 63, 66, and 69. So I got the size 69 because I wanted the really exaggerated frame. What I will tell you though is take the measurements of your face and you know decide if you know you have a much more rounder face you might want to go for a different size frame if you have a really skinny long face you know you might want to go for a different size so these kind of glasses they're a little tricky because they are aviators um, they're marketed as both for men and for women so you know they are unisex um, what else is there on the frames you can see the lens does say Porsche design and then on the inside of the glasses, it'll say Porsche Design Titanium. I don't know if I can get that to show. And then on this side, it'll say the P8478, which is the model number of the glasses. And then on this side of it, it'll say Porsche Design. So that is um, the lens. And then it'll also tell you the size of them on the inside. Like mine says A69101305 um, CE. So I don't know if it's gonna be able to zoom. I'm probably not gonna be able to zoom in on all that, but it does say that there, okay? So when you buy the gold, like I said, it comes in eight different colors. So there's white, there's silver, there's gray, there's matte black, there's shiny black, there's dull gold, there's shiny gold. I mean, there's a bunch of different colors. You guys really just have to check out the website to see all the colors. The price of them are $500. Um, I purchased, purchased mine from the PorscheDesign.com website. Um, you could look around to some of your luxury eye retailers and see if they have it or, you know, um, I think some like smaller boutiques carry it. I know we have some here in a suburb of Detroit, Birmingham that carries um, these too. Um, like I already went over what it comes with. It comes with the extra set of lenses. So if you get the shiny gold, you're going to get this brown lens, all right? And then you're also going to get this extra set of lens and it looks like that it's like this clear blue which is really pretty it gives you when you're in different lighting situations it gives you the options to be able to switch out the different lenses so if you're in probably a light a lighter lighting situation you could probably use the blue um and then for um you know a darker a situation where you want more coverage you could use the brown what i would suggest to you is if you're on the fence about um, purchasing them because of the color of the lenses that you get with it because I believe 
each different frame comes with a different set of lenses, a different color lenses. What I would tell you is that you are able to buy um, replacement lenses for $60. So if you're liking the gold, but you're not too fond of the two sets of lenses that come with it, you're all, you're, the option of being able to purchase more replacement lenses is always there. Um, it's made of scratch resistant, unbreakable um, poly, Carbonate, I believe that's what it's, it's marketed as. And then it's 100 UV protection. Um, the lens, the replacement lenses cost, I think, $60. So it's like you can get a whole new pair of glasses, you know, a whole different look for just $60, okay? I did say this was titanium. Let me show you how it is when you pop it out. Okay, so what you're gonna do is lift the nose piece, all right? And then the lens just kind of lifts out. Let me show you. Well, that's how it lifts out. It just kind of lifts out like this. I'm a little clumsy trying to do this on camera. And then what you would do is just be able to pop your alternate lens in. If you could see the teeth here that grabs it, all right? And then there's a hole there. So what you do to actually fit it in is, let me see if I can do this on camera. Because y'all know I am not camera savvy to get the best angles for you guys. But I will do my best, okay? So then you just pop it back into the guard like that and then you just slide the nose piece down um, and then that'll get it back in. So this will give you um, the ability to be able to change. What I would suggest to you guys is be extra careful when you're cleaning them because if you flick this up by mistake, your lens are gonna pop out, they're gonna pop out. So they are delicate in that way. Other than that, they're not flimsy. They're very, a, they're a light titanium. However, they are very exaggerated on the face. Like I think I mentioned in my um, sunglass collection that they're kind of the glasses I wear um, when I'm driving around in my convertible. I, you know, I like the fact that it covers most of the face and it gives me that very masculine kind of, you know, edgy kind of look. So that if that's the look that you're going for, the very exaggerated edgy kind of look, this is totally um, the glasses to be able to do that in. Um, However, like I said, they are pricey. <laughs> there are some other sunglasses companies that I know that are now starting to make um, the exaggerated frame in this size. However, they don't have the lens replacement. So far, these are about the only ones I've saw that has the ability to be able to switch out the lens. I haven't seen any other ones. I bought the Versace's because they reminded me of this, they, although they are slightly smaller. But like I said, their lens, and these are the Versace's, you can see is similar but the lens is much smaller and it doesn't pop out, but it still has that little mechanism up there, which gives the illusion of it, but it's not, it's not nearly as exaggerated as these. As you can see, the frame difference is, is huge. So I like these for that kind of glamorous, oversized, you know, I don't give a care look. Um, I think that was everything that the person wanted to know about them. I've had them in my collection for Oh my god over a year. I think I got them when they were first hot. You know, this was something that I jumped on when they were first hot um, So that is pretty much it. I think I can't remember what kind of box they came in I think they came in a big box that said Porsche design because I want to say my husband ordered a couple pair of sunglasses from them at the time um, At the time when I was ordering them the matte black was out and that was the original frame that I wanted um, but I settled for this one, and I like this one. I like the gold. I think it looks really good against tan skin or brown skin. Um, and then, the, like I said, the ability, if I wanted a darker lens, you can always buy, you know, the replacement lens at $60. So if you're scratching a lens or lens breaks or something like that, baby, you can just buy yourself another pair, and you can just keep on moving with these. So these are cool. So in the wintertime, I probably don't reach for them as much because um, I tend to like the big... Um, resin kind of glasses like the Celine frames, the big huge frames. But in the summertime, I don't mind the, the you know, skinnier wire frames or metal frames. Um, and that's just my preference. You know, you can do it however you want. If you live in a sunny state though, I don't think it would make a difference. Um, these are, like I said, a really good investment piece. I, there's not any, I, I don't plan on selling them or anything like that. There's something that I plan on having. And we like to get a bang for our buck. So if we are buying something that we feel is interchangeable between, you know, that my husband can wear and I can wear, it, you know, it just doubles up better for us. It makes it, you know, <laughs> better for us. That way I can make sure he pay for half. But anyway, <laughs> um, so that is my review on these glasses. I hope I answered all of your questions um, that you had about them with all the details. Um, 
And that's it. So if you guys have any other questions on any other products that I have showed you that you guys would like to have reviews on them, um, please just leave it below. I will get to it as soon as I can. That is, that's about it. I wanted to pop in and do that for you guys really fast. I took my car in for maintenance. So I said, well, I got some free time since I'm getting scheduled maintenance done. Um, Cause this is the time that we flip cars. I put the truck away. I do the maintenance on it and put it away. And then I bring out my other car. Um, so I am home waiting for the call. And when I get the call, I'll zoom up there to get it. What's on my lips really quick is Armageddon from Kat Von D. You guys know that I am a fan of these liquid lipsticks because they are matte. And I can do everything, go everywhere, and I don't have to have my lipstick smeared all over my face. Although I love the other ones, guys. I do love, you know, my Too Faced and my other lipsticks. It's just that these make it easy. And then... I am wearing the jumpsuit that I actually showed you guys yesterday in the video um, because again, I was lazy and I was looking for something quick and easy to wear. So I just put this on. I actually styled it a little bit different than what I styled it for you guys yesterday. I'm wearing it with a scarf and I have on a high heel booty with it instead of a flat because I wanted a little bit of height. Um, and then I have, um, I'm still carrying my Louis Vuitton Alma BB. So, and I, I still have on the Chanel earrings. Pretty much everything I wore yesterday, all I did was just switch into um, the jumpsuit and I changed to a high heel booty um, and then I'm wearing these glasses instead of the Versace so that is everything I will holler at you guys tomorrow peace Old lens glasses because the lenses do pop out okay the size that I have um, is a size 69 I went for the biggest size that they had because I was going for the what's her name Chris Jenner look so I wanted the biggest size frames that I could possibly get I thought they were you know just really chic um, plus they hide, you know, a lot when you don't want to wear your makeup or whatever in the morning, especially going to the gym or whatever. Um, so these are, these are great for that. The color that I got was the shiny gold. It actually comes in eight different colors and it comes in four different sizes. So there's a size 60, I think 63, 66, and 69. So I got the size 69 because I wanted the really exaggerated frame. What I will tell you though is and so I did say that I would go ahead and do a review on it um, so this video is going to be my thoughts on it and then just a little bit of information about you know the product okay so the box that it comes in actually it comes in this cardboard box right and it has like that information and then it has the label on the front and it's just a black flimsy cardboard box I kept it it's not the box that really holds the glasses it just holds the case which holds the glasses okay so this is the box that it actually came in and it looks like that and it kind of has like this magnetic closure and it has like this um it feels like velvety suede almost on the inside of the box and it's black and it's gray and it looks like that Welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you the review of the Porsche Design sunglasses. So if you are interested in these luxury pair of sunglasses, just keep them. Okay guys, I had a subscriber, actually I had a couple people that were was interested in the Porsche Design sunglasses. Take the measurements of your face and you know decide if you know you have a much more rounder face you might want to go for a different size frame if you have a really skinny long face you know you might want to go for a different size so these kind of glasses they're a little tricky because they are aviators um, they're marketed as both for men and for women so you know they are unisex um, what else is there on the frames you can see the lens does say Porsche design and then on the inside of the glasses, it'll say Porsche Design Titanium. I don't know if I can get that to show. And then on this side, it'll say the P8478, which is the model number of the glasses. And then on this side of it, it'll say Porsche Design. So that is um, the lens. And then it, it kind of collapses down, you know. So it's, it's really, it, to me, it's too big to really carry around in a handbag. 
um, but it does say Porsche Design Eyewear. And inside of the case, you will get um, your glasses, of course, and then you'll get this little velvet carrier, which holds an extra set of your lenses. And then you'll also get a cleaning cloth. And the cleaning cloth does say Porsche Design Eyewear on it. It's really dark and black, so I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see it. So it will have that in there, okay? So let's go over the glasses, and these are the glasses, and this is what it looks like. Um, they're actually marketed as the first interchangeable.